Okay, so in this video, we just want to balance uh, the given equation there. Okay, so basically, we know how we basically get to balance simple equations. For example, if you look at the upper process where we have uh, nitrogen and hydrogen reacting uh, to basically give us uh, ammonia. What basically happens is here, yeah, this is kind of an equation we're able to balance it by observation where you observe, okay, to say, okay, I can carry it to say, if I check my left hand side, I've got three hydrogen atoms. On my right hand side, I've got two. What do I do? I'll basically tend to multiply by three over two, right? And then I multiply the entire equation by two. So after multiplying the entire equation by two, we we'll realize that we're going to have a two there and a two there. And then ultimately you observe that the equation is balanced. Now, look at this equation that we have. If you try to observe what we have, you will not be able to balance it by observation. Okay. Why, for example, we can see that we don't have even oxygen on the right hand side. So we use what we call the ion electron method, where we need to split the reaction into our reactions. So quickly, we'd have to see that we only have a single product there, right? So all these reactants are going to be split into half. So we'll start with the first reactant to write it, right? So we have, I'll write it as it is. So our first reactant, we have IO3 minus. So we get it to our own product, which is I2. As we go to the second one, I'll get the other reactant as well. I'll also relate it to what? To our own product. So this only happens when you only have a single product. In cases where we've got different um, products, we realize that we'd have to look at which one is more related to the product, right? So basically, that's how we get to consider that. In this case, now, now that you've come up with the two half reactions, this is called, of course, a redox reaction because we have an oxidation reaction and also reduction reaction. So we'll be able to identify that as we get to proceed. So using the half reaction method or the ion electron method, the first thing that you're going to do is, first of all, you need to balance the other atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So oxygen and hydrogen basically are the main things that we get to focus on. But before we could get to balance our oxygen and our hydrogen, we'd have to balance other atoms. So I'll start with, first of all with the first half reaction, which is this one. Now observing, the only other reactants or the only other atoms that we, don't, we, we have other than oxygen and hydrogen, we have iodine. Now observe iodine. We have got two on the right hand side, we have one on the left. So we'd have to add a two. On what? On our left hand side. So we've balanced the number of iodine, iodine atoms. Proceeding to the second one. Equal to observe that we have one on the left and then we have two on our right hand side. So equal would have to add a two. So we've balanced all the other atoms apart from oxygen and hydrogen. So the second step is to balance oxygen. So we get to balance oxygen by what? So the oxygen is balanced by adding water. We balance hydrogen by adding the hydrogen ions. So we start with oxygen. So we'll start with first half reaction there. We can clearly see that we've got six oxygen atoms. How I'm multiplying the subscript three, I get the coefficient two. So we'd have to add six water molecules to our right hand side to balance up. So six water molecules. Now one thing that is there is the moment you introduce water molecules which we use to balance oxygen atoms, there's need for us to also balance the hydrogen atoms that are introduced because of the water molecule. So how many are they? 6 times 2, they are 12. We'd have to add the hydrogen ions, as we can see on our left hand side. So add 12 hydrogen ions. Okay. We'll go to the second half reaction. So the second half reaction, basically, we don't have oxygen and hydrogen. So it's already balanced in terms of the atoms that we have. Okay. Cool. So the other thing, after you've balanced the oxygen, the hydrogen, and all the other atoms, this is when now you get to focus now on the charges, right? The charges are now very important. So I'll start with a second half reaction since it is simple. So we have a negative there. We have a coefficient of a 2. So we'd have to multiply the coefficient by the charge. So we can see the overall charge is negative 2 on the left. On the right hand side, there's nothing. There's a 0 there. So we are moving, observing a change from negative 2 to 0. Now the question that you need to ask yourself is, is it an increase or reduction? So from negative 2 to 0, we have actually, if you look at your number line, you realize that the negative numbers as you move towards 0, we are actually increasing. So this is an oxidation reaction. So we use oil and leak to remember that. Oil is low, <laughs> oxidation is loss, and then leak reduction is gain of electrons. So in this case, what we are saying that increase in oxidation number is oxidation already. So we can clearly see that this is going to be what? 
loss of electrons. So how many electrons were lost? So we had lost two electrons for this to be an oxidation reaction. Now going to our first half reaction. We have 12 positives. So I'll write the 12 positives. We have got a negative here multiplied by the coefficient of 2. So we have a minus 2. So the overall charge becomes what? Positive 10 on the left hand side. On the right hand side there is a 0, there is a 0. So overall we have a 0 charge on our right hand side. So we are moving from 10 to 0. The other way you can think about this is if you consider uh, the electrons to be negative. So you have 10 there and then you have 0. So we would have to add negatives each time on a side so that we get to balance up. Remember what we had here? We had a negative 2 and then we are going to 0. So the question that you need to ask yourself is where should I subtract for me to be able to get equivalent numbers? So here we had to subtract 2 here. That, that's why we added 2 electrons. So we are, what we are going to do, we need to subtract from the 10. So we'll subtract 10. So that minus 10 is going to represent 10 electrons being gained in our reaction. That is also the smart way of thinking about it. Now at this point, we'd have to balance now the number of electrons in the two half reactions. There we have got 10 electrons, here you have got 2 electrons. So how do we balance? We'd have to multiply this reaction by a 5, right? So a 5 is going to multiply everything in this other half reaction. So clearly you see that the numbers are going to change, right? So where we have a 2, it is going to become what? 10. Where we have we are multiplying by 5, so it will become 5, and the electrons themselves are going to become now 10, right? 10 electrons. So, since they are on the opposite sides, the electrons would have to cancel out. They are being gained and lost. So, where they are being lost is in the oxidation reaction. Where they are being gained is in the reduction reaction. So, that is what redox is all about. So, at this point now, is there anything else that is on the opposite sides? There is nothing. So, we can now rewrite the entire equation by starting with first of all the oxidation reaction. So we have 10 iodine as our reactant from the second half reaction. And then we have got, I can start with uh, the 12. So we have 12 hydrogen ions. And then we have got 2 IO3 minus. We are done with our reactants. On our product side, we have 5 I2 plus so there is an I2 there as well. So basically, all in all, we can say we are going to have six of them. We can just sum them up. And then what else do we have? So we have six water molecules. And then we have... Uh, I think that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's all. We are now done. Since we already added the five plus the one there to give us six. And then we have got six water molecules. Now we can tr try to make an observation. On the left hand side, you have got 12 hydrogen ions. On the right hand side, 6 times 2 is also 12. How many oxygen atoms do we have? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 1 is also 6. The iodines, how many do we have? 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 10, 12. So we've balanced the entire reaction. And this is basically what ion electron method is all about. Also called the half reaction method. Just in summary, First of all, split the given reaction into half reactions and then balance all the atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. Then balance oxygen by adding water, balance hydrogen by adding the hydrogen ions, balance the charges, balance the number of electrons, and then combine the half reactions. Thank you very much for watching.